Good evening, everybody. Here it is again, another Thursday. Today is Thursday, March 18th, 2021. St. Patrick's Day is behind us. St. Joseph's Day is tomorrow. And Easter is on its way. Just panning out from the Easter decorations on the protective plexiglass here at the office. And since Easter is on its way, I wonder if an Easter bunny will be visiting us. Oh, look at this. It's uh, Margaret Broom and Bunny. Oh, Broom and Bunny. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Here she is. Why are you dressed like a bunny besides the fact that Easter is on its way? Miss Margaret, what else do you have to tell us? Right. <laughs> are we live? We are live. Oh. <laughs> Our Easter extravaganza raffle. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, yay, that's right. This is in full effect now, right? Tickets went home last week. They're only $5 each. Uh, we hope families contribute to this raffle. We've gotten, well, a few families have turned in theirs already and even bought extra tickets. So we put them in our little container here. They're ready to be mixed up. We will be pulling those on our last day here before break, which is Wednesday, March 31st. So make sure you get those in. And if you ever need any extras, we've got them here at the office. Woohoo! Again, half proceeds will go right to St. Ferdinand School. Half the proceeds will be divided among first, second, and third place winners. This is pretty exciting. We're excited about it. We're in the mood for it, right? Yes. All right. Miss Margaret, what else is coming up um, tomorrow? Tomorrow, for people missing the fish fry, hmm. we could still get fried fish Yay. at Hagen's. They're <laughs> doing a dining chair. Um, everything in their... Their, their store also, so anything in their freezer or anything in their hot sandwiches for the entire day that they're open. Um, whatever you purchase, as long as you mention St. Ferdinand and or show um, this flyer, they'll donate a proceeds of those sales to St. Ferdinand. Yay! So we still get, you know, not as good as our fish fry, but we are we're looking so forward to trying all the fish products here at Hagen's Fish Market. Um, all day tomorrow. I like how you mentioned that too, Miss Margaret. So lunch and dinner um, for us at Hagen's. And they're going to donate proceeds to it. Um, I know I myself have to pick up a bunch for my family and head over to my mother-in-law's. So we're going to have, you know, a little gathering with my mother-in-law who's in town. And she's looking forward to trying this fish as well. All right. So thank you, Margaret, for hopping on in with that. Thank you, Hagen's Fish Market, for agreeing to do this for us with us. You're welcome. Have a happy day. <laughs> All right. Yep. And I've got some, I don't know. I don't think I look like a cute bunny. I look like some kind of weird superhero. <laughs> superhero reject? Oh, uh, maybe. All right. Yeah, for... still alive. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. All right. So a couple other things besides uh, Easter extravaganza and Hagen's um, Fish Market fundraiser. Just a little quick plug here. I know after school in the parking lot, there have been some people who are parking um, beyond where you're supposed to. You know, we normally, if we can get out there, we set up cones or a divider um, so that people don't park past a certain place so that the kids can exit our two gym doors safely. And, you know, sometimes it's just hard for Miss Margaret or I to get down to um, the gym in time. Like, as you, you know, I teach gym and those classes go until 2.45. So I can't always run out there. If Margaret gets stuck at the office, then she's stuck there as well. So if anybody ever sees a car before teachers can get out there that's parked on the wrong side, could you please approach them just in the name of, you know, the safety of all the students, if they could please um, move their car. We'd appreciate that. Or if you see the divider there, if you're there early, if you could just pull it across, that would be such a big help too. Because again, most days I'm stuck, you know, teaching gym to a certain time and I can't get out there anymore. So that would be really helpful in helping to alleviate that problem. And it's really for the safety of all of our kids, right? We don't want cars around when they're exiting. So thank you for that. If you can help at all with that. Uh, let's see. Oh, coming up this weekend, just a couple things as we head into spring break in the two, you know, a week and a half, only a week and a half till spring break. All right. So this uh, Sunday, Sunday is confirmation for our eighth graders at 1130 mass. That's also family mass. So if you'd like to come to that and come and find me, um, I will give you an out-of-uniform pass, as is always the case. And um, then on Monday, the Lenten Rice Bowls are due. 
So I hope that the kids have donated to that, especially after experiencing the rice lunch that we had a couple weeks ago. I'll be reminding them tomorrow to bring in those rice bowls. Okay, so make sure if that's been on your table that it gets put in the kids' backpack over the weekend and ready to turn in. Thank you for encouraging that social outreach activity with your child for Lent. Um, just to keep note, next Friday, March 26th, we will have the 8th grade performing Living Stations of the Cross. Every Friday after 8.30 Mass, our kids experience stations in the traditional way around the church and virtually. Um, whoops. <laughs> but, but that'll be the 8th grade acting out. After, that's our last Friday here together during Lent. All right. And just a couple things to be aware of. Then those final three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, March 29th, 30th, 31st. Um, we always get the free breakfast items on Wednesdays. Well, that week, that last week, one day is going to be snacks for spring break. Then Tuesday is going to be breakfast items for spring break. And I think Wednesday is going to be lunch items or vice versa. There will be something that the kids leave with each day that week. Compliments of FSP, our lunch food service provider. Okay. Um, also, let's see. Uh, on that last day, ooh, March 31st, please remember to have the kids bring in their reading logs. We have over 10,000 minutes right now. We need to get to 50,000 by the end of March. It's very doable. I did the math, and I've been telling the kids each day in announcements, if every kid would read 24 minutes a day, we would get this. So I really hope, hope, hope that the kids can achieve 50,000 minutes, make sure they're reading on the weekends, each night a little bit, so that on Fridays, the teachers add the new totals in of what the kids bring, and we're getting there, we're getting there. And there'll be something silly and fun when we get back from spring break. That'll happen. So please keep encouraging that. Thank you. All right. And then that brings us to spring break at 3 o'clock on Wednesday, March 31st, begins spring break. So if you are traveling, you know, we've talked about before, the safest thing that everybody's trying to do is not travel, right? Just kind of staying home, laying low, that kind of thing, relaxing at home, which I know. We're tired of being cooped up. People are looking forward to summer and that kind of thing. Um, if you have to travel, please check out Chicago's uh, latest version of which states are orange states, because those require quarantining from when you get back. And then there are some states around us that are yellow, and those don't. So maybe just take a look at that and maybe think about if you need to travel, maybe going to one of those states for a little getaway, right? But if you are traveling out of the country or to an orange state, if you could start to let teachers in the office know, just so we're kind of aware about how many people will be doing um, distance learning once we're back. That way the teachers can start to think about what they might send with your child for after spring break and that kind of thing. So if you know, let us know too. You know we have, um, this year we have distance learning available if anybody doesn't feel good or has to quarantine. So please let us know. Thank you so much for that. Thanks for all your support of all the things we're doing, whether academically with the reading logs or fundraising with like, going to Hagen's Fish Market tomorrow. Hooray! Um, or socially fundraising with the the um, the Easter raffle, Easter extravaganza raffle, and even um, religiously, spiritually. Tonight, Margaret and I are heading over to confirmation practice in just a couple minutes. And as we said, coming to family mass, seeing our confirmandi from the class of 2021 is a special thing to do too. So please continue to stay safe, uh, stay healthy, stay distanced, stay sanitized, and everybody have a good weekend. Bye, Easter Bunny. <laughs> Broom and Bunny. <laughs>